Hi, today's topic, my name is Nelson Alvarenga, and today's topic is uh, avoiding giving in to temptation, avoiding giving in to uh, uh, an addiction, falling, slipping, uh, slipping, relapsing, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so, you know, uh, God set me free from pornography addiction back in 2006. But before that time, it was a long, long battle. It took years and years for me to be free from it, for God to set me free from that addiction. But one of the things that I learned was that I was fearful of the enemy. I was fearful of the devil, you know, because I had given in to the addiction so many times my whole life. I would, you know, feel bad about what I was doing and then I would give in again and I would feel bad and then I would relapse, I would slip, I would fall, I would give in to the addiction. And it was a pattern that I had had for my, you know, most of my life. So, you know, one day God revealed to me that I was fearful of the enemy, of the devil. And so I had to get that fear over with in order to be able to, you know, in order to overcome the addiction. So um, one of the scriptures that God gave me was Luke 10, 19. And it says that uh, Jesus Christ has given us the power to trample over serpents and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing by shall any means hurt you. So, um, you know, you have all the power inside of you to be able to overcome and nothing by shall any means is going to hurt you. And you, you, you have the power inside of you to overcome all the power of the enemy. Not some of the power, not most of the power, but all of the power of the enemy. You have the power inside of you to be able to overcome that. That's one scripture. The other one is, um, uh, these, these are new scriptures that I've had uh, that have to do with, with, uh, with fear. And that is um, Hebrews 2, 14 and 15. And it says, that for as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is the devil, and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. So what he's saying is that Jesus took the power of the devil, the power of the fear of death from the devil, and by doing that, Jesus set you and I free from the fear of death. So you and I are not to fear the fear of death. Why is that important? What does that have to do with anything? Well, the fear of death is like the root of all the other fears. I mean, it's like, you know, uh, <laughs> the fear of death, the fear of death, it's, it's, uh, it can paralyze you. It can paralyze people. And so a lot of people don't think that, but, but really the fear of death, we've been delivered from that. And so if you think, hey, you know, I think I'm going to give, you know, I'm fearful that I will give in to the addiction again, to the temptations again. Even if you're trying, if you're just, you know, fighting with it and resisting the enemy and all that, and you're fearful that you're going to give in, you'll probably give in because you're fearful of it. You got to get that fear over with. You got to quote the scriptures, memorize the scriptures, you know, that say that, that Hebrews 2, uh, 14 and 15 is, is, is the scripture I gave you. So, uh, memorize that. And then in Colossian, Colossians 2.15, it says that uh, having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly triumphing over them in it. So uh, basically what, what Jesus did is that uh, he, he did a show, a spectacle of, you know, just uh, defeating the devil for us. And then he showed it to the whole world, which means that, uh, that we, sh we should be at ease now, at peace. We should not be fearful of the devil because Christ has taken care of that, you see? And so um, it is very important that we see the enemy small, like nothing. He is nothing. He's a nothing. Um, I used to see him big, huge. He was like, you know, the, the, the devil is big. He's huge. Um, and I gave him too much power in my mind. I was like, he's too powerful. I cannot overcome this addiction. Wrong, wrong, wrong. He is defeated already. He, the enemy is defeated. You should not fear him. What I highly suggest that you do is that you memorize Luke 10, 19, and that you memorize Hebrews 2, 14 and 15, because it talks about that we are not to be fearful of the fear of death at all, and therefore any other fear. And so when you see that the devil is nothing, okay, then you put all your trust in God, all your faith in God, you will overcome for good forever. Thank you.